From LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings LA Late. It's a big morning of Mornings LA Late, alive from Santa Monica as your $3.5 trillion recon passes. Wow. In this Force and Shock update of 2021, we'll go over the passing of Saturday night of the $3.5 trillion recon pack bill or markup of the bill in the House Budget Committee. This is huge. All the clusters of checks covered on this channel got in there, passed. First, the 645 pages of checks, like money for seniors, $4,000, workers, uh, also checks for $51,000 of MSC, passed. Cluster number two's checks, including $1,700 of paid sick leave, passed. Cluster number three's checks for seniors, workers, and also free internet and free and cheaper prescription medication passed. This is huge. The wonderful $3.5 trillion recon markup of the bill passed. But guess what? We aren't done yet because in this recording, there was a major meeting last night, Monday night. The Democrats of the House met and they talked about the recon. They talked about the bipartisan. They talked about the debt ceiling limit and those incredible details of that incredible meeting are coming up in this recording. This is breaking news you're not going to hear anywhere else. What's also really exciting news is that Democratic leaders from both the House side and the Senate side have said in the last three days they are putting in a monthly IRS stimulus check in there by amendment because guess what? You may think there's a full bill that's closed up and sealed, but it's not because it's a work in process. And even Rod White and overnight says he's putting in an extension of unemployment benefits. Oh boy, it's getting heated and the toast is toast and the butter is butter. And it's a great morning. And this is Morning's Alla Light. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful morning across the globe. I'm live with you direct from Santa Monica, where it got cooler. Jump in the live chat and tell me how the weather is where you are. Well, guess what? On Saturday night, a $3.5 trillion recon bill passed what would be a markup of a bill, but it's not the full bill. I'll explain all the details in this recording. Then we'll go over all the clusters that got passed. Cluster number one, pass. Checks for seniors up to $4,000 to care for the elderly. Cluster number two's checks, passed. Paid sick leave. Cluster number three's checks, passed. Free internet. But guess what? There was a major meeting Monday night and went over the recon. It went over the bipartisan. It went over the debt ceiling limit. And the voting process getting very, very fascinating. I had told you it's a very fluid situation. And boy, is it so fluid, I don't think they know where it's going. I'll be going over what happened in that jaw-dropping meeting last night. There's a meeting today. And what's important to understand is that if you think there's a full bill that is closed up and sealed, it's not. They're adding things in there with Jalapal, AOC, and Omar's office saying they're adding in IRS MSC checks. And now Ron Wyden on the Senate side saying he's going to try to add in extension of unemployment benefits. It's a beautiful morning. And this is Alight, America's only 24-hour day, seven days a week, financial news channel in America. Live in the morning like right now and then taped in the afternoons. Coming up next is Morning's Crypto. You need to watch that show because the markets are imploding, and I'll explain to you why. Then I'm back with you live at 9 a.m. at 11 a.m. on noontime. You need to subscribe because on Saturday night, the House Budget Subcommittee passed a markup of the reconciliation budget bill. What would be the bill? $3.5 trillion. I delivered the breaking news to you on, on air as soon as it happened, and not a single broadcast channel covered it. Not a single print media covered it. Not a single YouTube channel covered it, except this one. When there's details, when there's meetings, when there's backdoor negotiations, you hear them all. The excruciating details, one at a time, only on this channel. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers. Next stop, 1 million. Like this video, 2-3 thousand likes, and consider becoming a member. Let's cut to all the details starting right now. Saturday night, the House Budget Subcommittee 
passed a $3.5 trillion reconciliation budget bill draft, which would be the bill if it's put to a House floor vote. But it's not the full bill. It's 2,400 pages, and guess what? This is huge because all the incredible clusters covered on this check, lost cluster number one, which I'm going to go over, cluster number two, pass, and cluster number three, pass. It's huge. This is historic because the biggest payout we've ever seen in the history of this channel, and this is a major event. Let's cut to the first cluster of checks that are in there. It's a 645 pages detailed over the last two weeks. It's important to remember that for stimulus recon is for everyone and it's not COVID related. The first cluster has checks in there for hazard pay. Caring for the elderly, caring for children, $51,000 of MSC monthly stimulus checks, home repairs, college students, and cars, trucks, and bikes. Let's get to the detail story right now. Past is the first cluster that has hazard pay in there. Wow. This channel was the single biggest advocate for hazard pay in 2020, and they got it in there, modifying an old tax code called the Earning Income Tax Credit, expanding the eligibility, and then increasing the amount of money for essential workers. Lifetime for every year that you qualify. Wow. Then they're going to give up to $4,000 a year if you care for an elderly person at home. It's huge. It's Richard Neal's dealing, and it's wonderful. They're going to do, on the flip side, up to $4,000 to care for a young child. College students got three items in there, grants the universities, grants the students themselves, and then making the Pell's grant tax-free. Home repairs got in there if you're in a low-income community. They'll give you grants to repair your home in a low-income community. Wow. Then what about $51,000 of monthly stimulus checks? They got them in there. The EIC got in there lifetime with a wonderful modification. If you gave birth to a child over the weekend, then this is you. If you're in a low-income family, let's do the calculation. For every month, every year that that, ha that, that family is in a low-income community, you'll get up to three, a low-income household, you'll get up to $300 a month, every month, every year, for up to 18 years, which is $51,000 a child. Now, the big twist, on a Saturday night, at the 11th hour, they got a modification to the earned income, to the child tax credit, the CTC in there, by making it qualified for people who are not biological uh, parents. This is huge. Foster parents will get the payments as well. Then we cut over to the big money for <laughs> bikes, cars, and trucks. All electric, all U.S. auto manufacturer. Up to 15% of the purchase price for a new electric bike. There. Up to $7,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle. Personal use. There. Then up to a little bit more if the vehicle's for business use, and a little bit more if it's an electric truck. Wow. That is the first cluster. And in a second, I'm going to go over to the second cluster that got in there, and the third cluster that got in there, and we'll be going over to those IRS MS these checks as well. But first, here's a big shocker. An additional $13 billion going out to your cities, counties, and states for rent, utilities, and mortgage under third stimulus. With the debt ceiling limit looming for Friday, Treasury made a smart move. They had $13 billion to send out. They sent it out last week, way ahead of the deadline. And the statement from Treasury is that this is desperately needed for people in need. The Treasury is happy to provide state and local governments with these additional money for Americans in need. I'll be going over that later in this recording. Get that pen, paper, cell phone ready. But time for some more checks. Let's cut to cluster number two checks. They got in there, passed. Cluster number two checks passed by that House Budget Committee on Saturday night. This is 12 checks. It starts with paid family leave and paid medical leave. Family leave, you have to stay at home because your spouse is pregnant. Medical leave, you have to stay at home because your child broke his leg. How much does it pay? A fortune. Under third stimulus, it was up to $1,700 a week of a $70,000 more annual salary. Split it in half. Let's say you make $35,000 a year. $800 a week. Let's say you make $15,000 a year. $400 a week. Wow. Then they got a lot of other checks in there, no less than 12. They got checks for child care programs, checks for household tax credits, and checks for seniors. Medicare benefits being lower, lowering the eligibility age, checks for dental, vision, and hearing. More about that in cluster number three. And then they got an additional round of checks for the home. Weatherizing your home checks. This is definitely needed, especially when there are purple hawks on the roof. And your Fox News... <sighs> Yeah, it's on the roof, yeah. Uh, guess what? That's for if you're in a tornado zone or a fire zone, for example. Then they got two more checks in there, additionally, for education. The first one, fascinating. They got free pre-kindergarten in there, but late yesterday, a new report said they got to modify this 
because this may not be able to be implemented the way it's written because it's a little too confusing. Remember, it's not a full bill. The envelope is open. They're still sliding things in there. And guess what? The next one they slid in there, deliciousness, free community college definitely needed across the country because everyone's taking that very popular class now called what the hell is LA saying 101 it's for people who says people in Los Angeles you just talk funny you have a dialect you just talk your own foreign language <laughs> now you can take a Los Angeles that foreign dialect uh so that you can speak the language of Los Angeles kill salad kill salad kill salad there you go <laughs> <laughs> Just don't be too fluent. fluent in it, please. Uh, then they got green energy checks in there as well. Wow. And a second, we're going to go over the third cluster. But first, what is Congress doing? What is Congress doing? Let me tell you what they're doing. Last night, Nancy Pelosi had a late night meeting with her House Democrats. Remember, House Democrats. And guess what? They talked about the debt ceiling limit vote. They talked about the roads and bridges vote. They talked about the recon vote. They talked about making additions to the recon. Oh boy. This comes as AOC, Jalapal, Pelosi, and Sanders' office tell viewers of this channel since at least Friday that they are inserting provisions in there for a monthly IRS stimulus check of $1,000 a month after the first month of 2000. This comes after 1,000 viewers were still told that over the last weeks. It's coming up in the final 15 minutes of this video. Boy, I got dramatics like you have never seen dramatics in the final 15 minutes of this video going over that meeting from last night. You want to know the details of what happened in that meeting. It is really shocking. Then let's cut to the third cluster, checks. Pass. They got them in there. These are the present checks, the one the president wants in there. Well, check number one is free school meals for all checks, cheaper prescription medication checks, checks for farmers, checks for free internet. Then we have checks for clean energy, checks for workers like independent contractors, checks for Medicare, like checks for lowering the eligibility age for Medicare, checks for seniors, checks for dental, checks for vision, and checks for hearing care. Third cluster is wonderful because there's an additional $107 billion in a world exclusive, which I've identified as going to you. Two weeks ago, the Senate parliamentarian, in a quiet statement on a Friday night, ruled that one of the provisions in the recon third cluster can't be in there. It was money for judiciary, not you, judiciary. I went back in my old notes, cross-reference, found it's $107 billion. Yes, guess who's getting that money? You. It's going to be reallocated to programs for you. The third class is really wonderful because some of the checks are automatic overnight. One of them, the first, is cheaper prescription medication. How would this work? Let's say you go to a pharmacy today to fill a prescription. You take two $20 bills out of your wallet to pay. This becomes law a month later. You go back to refill the prescription that week, and you may only have to take out one $20 bill, instantly putting, keeping an extra $20 bill in your wallet. Then free internet. They're going to give fortunes to cities, counties, and states, red, blue, poor, and rich, to offer free internet to its citizens. All you have to do is ask, what's the username and password for the Wi-Fi? Uh, the username is Blaine66, uh, and the password is Scarf101. <laughs> there you go. In the second half of this video, boy, we got a big video today, folks. Um, it's going to be a monster one. Stay to the very end. I'm going to go over this massive meeting that happened last night, which goes over the voting process of the debt ceiling limit, the recon, the bipartisan. We'll go over the elements of the amendments to this bill. That's not a bill. It's not closed up. Notice it's open. They're still inserting things in there. We'll be going over what's happening with those IRS monthly stimulus checks. It's still really good. Then we'll be cutting over to third stimulus, and if I have time, this stimulus, and the debt ceiling limit. Because guess what? That is a bunch of silliness. <laughs> it's, a, it's like kangaroo. It's like kangaroos, uh, you know, doing the twister. It's just very strange. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I'll explain all the incredible details as this big Morning to LA broadcast continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. 
volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with Ally for more. Join LA Light Daily for the excitement of the new LA Light Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Light at 9 a.m. Home LA Light returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Light at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Light. And the excitement continues right now live from Santa Monica on Mornings LA Light as your recon passes a House Budget Committee on a Saturday night. In the second half of this video, we'll be going over that big Monday night negotiations that happen among House Democrats. What do they negotiate about? What was the outcome? I have all the world exclusives and the breaking news in this recording. We'll be cutting back to the IRS monthly stimulus check and those Senate Democrats saying it's in there. The House Democrats saying it's in there. What did they say in the last 48 hours? And since Friday, it's deliciousness. We'll go over all those details and more. Then we'll be cutting back over to the debt ceiling limit with its looming on Friday. What does it mean for you? We'll be going over the Thursday date. What Thursday date? Yes, you're gonna learn about a new date on Thursday. Uh, a, a date with some highways. <laughs> and then we'll be cutting to the big surprises of the meeting the president's having in the next few hours with two friends and foes. Oh boy. It's a big morning's broadcast and there's a lot going on today and there's a lot that happened the last few hours and this is Morning's Ally. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers to YouTube record. I want you part of this incredible family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Coming up next is Morning's Crypto. You need to watch that show because the financial markets are imploding, and it's going to be a very big financial broadcast to show you what's going on on Wall Street today. Then I'm back with you at 9, 11 a.m. at noontime. And then at 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and 5 o'clock with afternoons, afternoons, and evenings. So make sure you subscribe. 400,000 subscribers to YouTube record. Like this video and consider becoming a member. Let's get right to the big shocker of the Hertz stimulus. An additional $13 billion has been now landed out to your cities, counties, and states for rent, utilities, and mortgage. Thank goodness. Treasury was very smart to send out that money before the debt ceiling limit issue of Friday. And that money is for rent, utilities, mortgage, and homeowners uh, assistance as well. Get that pen, paper, cell phone ready to show you how to get this big sums of money. What's important to understand is that the money for rent, utilities, and mortgage, and SNAP have gone up astronomically in 30 days. When we look at the rent, it's gone up 200%. When we look at the SNAP, it's gone up 400%. And we look at the utilities, it's gone up to 300%. Wow. Let's look at these numbers right here. A month ago, Purple Hawks members, Purple Hawk Powers, Calcino VIPs, getting twenty to twenty-seven thousand dollars for rent. Now they're getting forty thousand uh, dollars. Jen, a week ago, getting close to forty thousand. Several viewers getting over thirty thousand. When you look at utilities, remember Mark? You remember fifty-one thousand dollar Mark? Here he is. Here's some fifty-one thousand dollar Mark. Well, he helped his brother-in-law get some money for utilities. The brother-in-law got fifteen thousand. Wow, a three hundred percent increase in just a month. When we look at the money for SNAP, the numbers have gone up astronomically, 400%. Mark's brother-in-law getting $21,000. Get that pen, paper, cell phone ready. I have all the details. And I have a big update about this for the first time on Morning's LA as well. Here are the six places you're, you're going to show you six places to reach out to. They have different pots of money and different eligibility. Number two, list the keywords I say in this video. Number three, wait for the nonprofits because they're giving you money as well. Here are the six places you reach out to. City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall and State House Authority. And keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID. Mortgage utility assistance because of COVID. There you go. Let's go over the six places again. City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall and State House Authority. Now. I want you to rely upon that newsletter. If you're a member of this channel, you get a newsletter every day at about 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you haven't become a member, the link's under the video. In that newsletter is a link to the Treasury announcement about that $13 billion. I want you to read it so you know what it is. And then call up and say, have you gotten the money? Remember, 
every city, every county, every state, red, blue, poor or rich, will be getting that money, but it won't be there forever. Next, I want you to get the utility money. So if you have five utility companies, reach out to all five. Then I want you to lean on the nonprofits. Two separate viewers from two different nonprofits have gotten refrigerators from this channel in the last seven days. Yes, refrigerators. Another one got furnace. Another one got a window fixed. When it comes to rent, one viewer got a turnaround time after approval immediately in 24 hours from St. Vincent de Paul and another viewer 24 hours from United Way. Here are the five nonprofits: profits United Way, Salvation Army, Community Action, Catholic Charities, and St. Vincent de Paul. If, again, if you're a member, they are now featured in the newsletter for viewers. Let's go over those five nonprofits again. United Way, Salvation Army, Community Action, Catholic Charity, St. Vincent de Paul. It's important to understand that the nonprofits are paying for things the president, the, the, the government doesn't pay for. For money like clothing, sometimes food, sometimes small appliances, sometimes small home repairs. So lean on those nonprofits. Let's turn to Snap. This is new at Mornings LA. There was a wonderful viewer in the countdown show this morning, and she was so excited because she got that October letter. What's going on with Snap? Snap is money for food. You get it from the Department of Agriculture and it pays a lot. Mark's brother-in-law is going from 21000 now 25000 Well, what's going on? You were raised up your benefits from January to September because of two executive orders. Those orders are now over, and that September is now gone. There's a new thing in place that raises your benefits up lifetime. Yes, lifetime. Starting in October, an average of 25% nationwide everywhere. There's two letters in the mail. The first one says your benefits are lowering down in September. There's another one that says your benefits are stepping up in October. And guess what? One viewer in the morning's countdown show said, thank you, LA. I got the second letter yesterday. And my benefits are going from about $500 to $800 a month. Wow. There you go. So watch for that second letter. Then... Unemployment benefits, yes, two of them. First, the raise of your benefits up if you're on S, the raise of your uh, unemployment benefits, the refund jack, check back from your state. That is coming due to overpayment of unemployment benefits and a computer error. Average payment is $2,000 to $5,000. Reach out to your state for tracking. And then the payment of unemployment benefits on that 2020 tax return. That refund check is coming back from IRS. Average payment is about $1,200 to $2,000. Mario got it, Cod got it, Michael got it. You can do an irs.gov tracking for this. Finally, if you're in the live chat, you got in any of these sums of money, post your success stories. Because when you do, you inspire other people. And if you haven't become a Purple Hawk, please do. The link is under the video. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Daily, at about 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Monday through Friday, I deliver the newsletter to members of this channel. It has all the big money under first, second, and third stimulus for you to get. That's why viewers are getting $30,000, $50,000, $80,000, $100,000. And it has what's in there for fourth stimulus and fifth stimulus as well. I want you to make a promise to yourself. If you've gotten money from this channel, I want you to get more money. If you haven't gotten money, I want you to get the money. This is what I want you to try to do. I want you to try to get utilities and mortgage and rent as far as you can into 2022. As far as you can. So if you've gotten money for a few months, I want you to try to get further. Number two. The nonprofits report to this channel that they're not getting a lot of calls at the moment, reportedly, because you know why? It's late summer. It's early fall. They're not getting the calls for heating oil yet, or it's cold and they need electricity. They're not getting those calls yet. So I want you to lean on them and get whatever you're eligible for now as far as you can get as well. And finally, if you need holiday holiday gifts, Contact Salvation Army. They start doing those in October. And with that, we go into the final 15 minutes of this video with a massive, massive second half of this video. Boy, there is major dramatics, and I have all of them for you. And starting right now, past. On Saturday night, a $3.5 trillion reconciliation budget markup draft of a bill passed the subcommittee of the House. Cluster number one in there, passed. Cluster number two in there, passed. And cluster number three in there, passed. What's important to understand is that this is not a bill until it's introduced to the House floor. And that night, Saturday night, yesterday, and also last week, the President and Nancy Pelosi said, this is not the final bill because we're still making changes to it. That is great because guess what? On Friday, today, yesterday, in the last few days, Jalapa, Omar, Pelosi, Sanders offices again confirmed to viewers of this channel they are inserting an IRS monthly stimulus check provision in there. 
The verb tense they use is fascinating. They sometimes say are going to, will be, about to, amending, as though it's a future event. And that's consistent with what I've been telling you, and that's what the president said and Pelosi said, that this is not a bill that is now closed up and sealed. No, it is a work in progress, and they're still putting things in there. Let me explain the dramatics of this, starting back with eight weeks ago. Eight weeks ago started what happened nearly a 1,000 viewers this channel told by over a dozen House members and Senate members that they're inserting a monthly stimulus check provision in there. WRI heard me eight weeks ago. I said, pick up the phone and advocate to your legislators for the inclusion of a stimulus check provision. And he did. He picked up the phone, WR, called Senator Democrat Chris Coons, C-O-O-N-S, advocated for a monthly stimulus check provision. And Coons' office said, yes, doing it, putting it in there. Three weeks ago, I showed viewers three exclusives to this channel. I said, one, that the House would be writing up the legislation. Confirm now true. That the House will be calling for a vote first. Confirm now true. And that there's a dynamic between the House Budget Committee and the Senate Budget Committee. They're two different bodies. Bernie Sanders, Chairman of the Budget, Senate Budget Committee. That is now true as well. Bernie Sanders that week, three weeks ago, said, unlike prior budget chairman, I like to get out amongst the people when I'm writing on a, working on a budget bill. Well, guess what? Sanders' office at that time was basically saying he wants to hear from you. He wants you to advocate for him. And that's what Brother Joshua did. Lingland did, and Margaret did, picked up the phone and advocated, and all three different people were told by Sanders' office they are inserting a monthly IRS stimulus check after they advocated. Now, what does advocacy look like? Let's go over this because this is very important. Advocacy means you're picking up the phone and saying, I need it, my family needs it, my community needs it. I need to tell you my story of why, what's going on, why I need it. We had a wonderful face of advocacy at the end of last week as another Margaret pick said, honestly, the woman on the phone and I start crying. She poured her heart out to explain why she needed so much that everyone on the conversation was crying. Another viewer saying, I told her my husband died. How am I supposed to have 10 surgeries since his passing and try to raise two teenage, te teenage, two teenage daughters with this hardship and all I have is SSDI? It's not enough. That is the true face of advocacy. And that's what Brother Joshua did. Jo bro Brother Joshua is a longtime volunteer to the community page of 2020. He helped countless viewers get money for rent and utilities. He picked up the phone and advocated for you, advocated for himself and his church to Santa's office three weeks ago. And Santa's office said, yes, he's inserting a stimulus check provision, $1,000 a month to $1,300 four to six months. And that advocacy resulted in Santa's office saying also, he needs to hear your support. Well, we did it. We picked up the phone and advocated. And viewer after viewer kept on calling at Sanders' office, which reportedly is also still confirming much the same today. Yes, Sanders' office is still on board with this as well today. It started with Donnie, who really opened the floodgates. This is what Donnie, like other viewers, wrote on the comments on this channel or on social media or in private message. This is actually Donnie's writing. I called Bernie Sanders and his secretary said they are doing a forced stimulus check and said, this is why I need it. My city needs it. I need to progress to pay for my water and everything. I told her that. And she said, okay, they're doing a forced stimulus check. This is what Hurricane Tina wrote. I called Bernie Sanders' office and got through and they said they are putting in another stimulus check. This is what Carolyn Smith wrote. I called Bernie Sanders' office and talked to her secretary and told her we need help. And that people are losing their homes and what we got. And she agreed. And Bernie is also putting a stimmy in there. This is what Yaya wrote. I spoke to Ron Wyden's office, and they want to put SS200 in there as promise. The comments continued across the board, and we saw suddenly that we need to make one, not one call, but three calls. When we saw the comments from Will, Will call, I says, wrote, I called Bernie's office, I called Schumer, I called Sanders, and all three of the secretaries confirmed a stimulus check. When he talks about Elizabeth Warren later his message, he says, Elizabeth Warren, Senator Elizabeth Warren's staff says she's inserting $1,400 to $2,000, six to 12 months. By the end of that week, we then had Lorica as well, writing the following. Senator Casey's office said, yes, there are negotiations now for the amount of the stimulus check. By that point, we had a, nearly 1,000 viewers this channel being told the same thing. From Santa Coons, Sanders, Warren, Schumer, Casey, and Wyden's office, that they're inserting a monthly stimulus check provision in the fourth stimulus recon. 
But at that point, I said, pick up the phone and call over to the House members, AOC, Jayalapal, and Omar. I said, pick up the phone and advocate. And viewers did. Mark, $51,000 Mark, called Pelosi's office a week ago yesterday. And Pelosi's office told Mark the following. This is what Mark wrote. Mark writes, I called her and I advocated. Uh, he says I, he called an advocate, and this is what he writes, Paul, Mark. Her staff told me there would be a four check in there for two thousand dollars the first month, a thousand dollars thereafter for six months, and they're almost done negotiating it. That's what Mark wrote. Viewers continue to make the phone call. Like Lorraine called Sanders' office, and then the com conversations continue. The messages kept on coming on in. Ida. I just got off the phone with Omar's office. They are putting in $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter for six months. Lynn Glenn, I called Jayalapal's office, spoke to the secretary, and her secretary said, yes, they want to give us monthly stimulus checks. Lynn Glenn was in the morning's countdown show this morning, and she wrote in the morning's countdown show uh, just about an hour and a half ago, she called Omar's office on Friday, and Omar's office said, yes, they are putting it in there. So what's going on? Let's go over all the details. We have over a thousand viewers being told the same thing from both the Senate and the House Democrats. A thousand dollars a month after the first month of two thousand dollars going in there up to six months. But the verb tense is getting very fascinating. It is 99% of the time where the verb tense is a future verb tense meaning that they are going to, they will be, they are amending. Why is this important? Why is this consistent? Why is this much exactly as predicted? Because Pelosi on Saturday, when that $3.5 trillion recon draft of the bill was passed, that is not a sealed, it says bill, it says bill, but it's not sealed. Pelosi said, we're still making changes. Pelosi says, I'm speaking with the president, I'm speaking with the House, I'm speaking with the Senate, I'm still making changes. This is huge because AOC, Jalapal, Omar's office absolutely have your back. They are House progressives and they say they will be inserting it by some form of an amendment to whatever that there is in that $3.5 trillion from Saturday. On the Senate side, remember what I always said about the Senate for the last five months, the Senate would be voting first. I gave you that word exclusive. The Senate is now voting for last. It, excuse me, the Senate would be voting last. The Senate is voting last. And remember what the last vote would be? A voterama. A voterama, which by its nature, by its law, is a two-day event in which senators introduce amendments, where they introduce amendments to add things in there. Sanders' office confirming he's adding it in by amendment. Ron Wyden, guess what Ron Wyden said this morning? Ron Wyden said this morning, last night, I'm adding an amendment for unemployment extension of benefits. This is what's going on. So now let's cut to what happened with that meeting last night. Last night, and this is absolutely very, very confusing, very, very fluid, very ever-changing. This is what happened last night. Last night, Nancy Pelosi had a meeting with her House Democrats. And you can basically explain the situation as the following. There is no on-the-record comments about what happened last night. All you have is off-the-record comments covered in a conservative publication, which generally runs very negative Democratic articles. That conservative publication reports that it basically looked like a food fight in a cafeteria of high school students. In one group, cluster over in one cluster, were the progressives, AOC, Omar, Jalapal, cluster number two, the goth gang. <laughs> no, they don't wear a black eyeliner and, you know, black t-shirts and, you know, yeah. Uh, no, that, not, not that goth gang. It's the problem creator, his goth gang. Yeah, that guy from New Jersey. They're called the moderate House Democrats, um, almost Republican-ish House Democrats. They're over in that corner. In the middle is Nancy Pelosi. What happened? Well, they argued about the debt ceiling limit vote. They argued about the infrastructure vote. They argued about the recon vote. Here's what I want you to understand is that if the roads and bridges gets called for a vote and passes on Thursday, it means nothing for you and your recon. It doesn't kill your recon. It doesn't hurt your recon. It has nothing to do with you and your recon.
It's beneficial that it, the Roads and Bridges doesn't go for a vote first, but it doesn't hurt your recon. So if you wake up Friday morning and say, oh, it says in the newspaper the infrastructure passed, it, you, you should have no reaction to it. Also, you should have no reaction if the debt ceiling limit lapses on Friday because it also has no impact on you and no impact on your recon. But what did these... What did this food fight look like last night? This is reportedly, again, off the record, fluid, not etched in stone. This is what it was described as looking like. That Nancy Pelosi, over the last few months, had those very, very angry quotes, which I read on camera, where she said, I'm not uh, treating these as two separate bills. They are linked. Recon and bipartisan are linked. And that I'm not voting for the, I'm not calling the vote on the on the, on the the infrastructure first before the recon. Absolutely not. According to the reports from last night, she flipped. She said, I will delink them. I will call the roads and bridges for a vote on Thursday. That is reportedly what the report said. On the other hand, the the AOC, Jala, Paul, Omar group in that side of the cafeteria reportedly said, good luck, we're killing you. We're killing the roads and bridges. We're going to vote it down. It's not going to pass. And it has to be linked. It has to go together. And we got to have all, we have our progressives ready to vote it down. <laughs> On the other side, the goth gang says, you can't vote it down. We, there's nothing wrong with the roads and bridges. Everyone, everyone's ready to go. It should be passed. Then we have the strange Thursday date. Oh. The surface transportation, excuse me, it's, it's something you really don't need to know. But there's a date, and they can't even agree about the date. The progressives say it's not a deadline. The goth gangs say it is a deadline. And that that deadline somehow impacts the roads and bridges. Uh, Takeaway from this is that if they do call for a vote on Thursday, the roads and bridges, and if it passes, it has no impact on you and your recon. So... What about the debt ceiling limit in this cafeteria food fight last night? Well, the debt ceiling limit, what do they do on this one? This debt ceiling limit is ridiculous. It's so silly. It's really, really, really silly. The debt ceiling limit should pass in a sink of, blink of an eye. Uh, they're, they're really arguing about almost nothing, the Republicans and the Democrats. The talk of the chatter of that cafeteria food fight last night is that the Democrats may fold and just give the Republicans what they want on the debt ceiling limit to pass it on Friday, uh, to, to get it done by Friday. Okay, big deal. Doesn't really concern you again. Again, doesn't concern you. Finally, the recon. What did they talk about the recon? This is where it's important for you. What they talked about at the recon was that Pelosi's basically saying the same thing that the president's saying, and certainly the same thing you would probably say, which is, if you have something you want in the recon, friggin' tell me right now. She's basically saying the following. We passed on Saturday a $3.5 trillion recon markup in the House subcommittee, but I'm not calling for a vote because there's people on the edges who say they want to insert stuff. So friggin' tell me what you want to insert, which is fine. <laughs> it works for us because guess what? There are people who want to insert more, people who want to insert less. There is... AOC, Jalapal, Omar, that want to insert MSC, IRS stimulus check. There's Bernie Sanders, who wants to insert MR, uh, IRS stimulus check. There's Ron Wyden, who in the last 24 hours says, oh, hi, here I am. I have three people with me, the Wyden, the Wyden wish group. I don't know what they're called, the, the, the Wyden-ish, the three Wyden people. They want to insert unemployment benefits extension. Yeah, there's all these little fractions that are coming forward with these things that they want to insert. The president's having a meeting today with two of those beautiful senators. Yeah, those two senators. But understand that it's not just those two senators. Pelosi's having a uh, a kumbaya saying, listen, you Democrats, you want stuff? Tell me now so I can put it in here. And guess what? This is all consistent with how the verb phrasing has been to the nearly 1,000 viewers of this channel about that IRS multiple stimulus check. That it was always sort of future tense. Will be inserting, is inserting amendment, adding, yeah. And remember, bill, not close. Now let's go back to the debt ceiling limit for a second. So debt ceiling limit, does it impact you? No, 
if you have checks that you receive on a monthly basis from the federal government, like your Social Security benefits checks, your benefits, your your SSI or SSDI checks, you're a federal employee, you're a vet, you're an active service service member. Your checks will arrive on time. If this goes a day late, if it goes a week late, if it goes several weeks late, broadcast me and myself are sort of laughing at this whole debt ceiling limit. It's ridiculous. It's sort of they do this all the time. They always go over a few days late or a few weeks late. It's it's very very common. Almost every single time it happens that way. Does it go up two months? late? No. Once in a generation goes two months late. So if this gets taken care of in seven days, 12 days, 14 days, you're totally fine. Check back with me if we're still doing this on December. Then it's an issue. Number two, does the debt ceiling limit have anything to do with the recon? No. The debt ceiling limit is not to fund the recon. It's to fund existing laws. The recon is not even a finished bill yet. Then does the debt ceiling limit have anything to do with the work process? It does and it doesn't. It's beneficial and it's interesting because the debt ceiling limit is, uh, the date is Friday, but Janet Yellen warns you can't wait to the last second because when you start to wait to the last second, you start to incur new uh, debts for the government on Thursday, on Wednesday, on today. You can't wait to the 11th hour. So uh, is it impacting the work on the recon? No, but it is beneficial to the recon in a way you could potentially say, because they're all talking about things, as I just showed you. A massive cafeteria discussion last night and food fight between progressive and moderate House Democrats, House Democrats, the Goth gang, the AOC gang, and saying, this is what we're going to do with three bodies of legislation. It's beneficial because they're in a room. They're saying, okay, let's do a, let's deal with all three at the same time. A lot of details. Fifth stimulus. Raise your benefits up if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad benefits. Applies a new benchmark. Fifth stimulus will heat up later this year. First, they'll apply a new benchmark. That's inflation. Then they'll remove the asset cap, remove the income cap, and remove the marriage penalty. If inflation is going to go to 5%, uh, then your benefits will step up, not just next year, but lifetime. On Mornings Crypto, which is coming up after this recording, I'm going to record a lot about what's going on with that inflation rate. Because guess what? What I told you about that is also true. It's not going to be transitory. And it's a lot higher than I than I than what than the Federal Reserve is saying. They're trying to say two percent. I've been saying five percent. Uh, some people are trying to say twenty percent. It's not twenty percent, but it is going up higher, and it all helps your benefits. Let's recap so you understand where we are on this recon, because I know that was a lot happening. First, the situation is very very fluid on the voting process, as you see. At the time of this recording, which is 9.45 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, it can change by the hour when the recon goes for a vote, when the bipartisan goes for the vote, when the debt ceiling limit goes for a vote. Pelosi and the president are emphatically consistent on the same position in the last week, that they're not going to call the vote on the recon unless everyone has agreed that they got their things in there. And what they're trying to say is, listen, you want to put things in there, tell me now. Tell me, Ron Wyden, what else you want to add in there. Uh, progressive gang, tell me what you want to add in there. Uh, the goth gang is not trying to kill the recon. Let me make that very clear. They're not trying to call, they have nothing against the recon whatsoever. The goth gang just wants their bipartisan, they want their roads and bridges passed right away. Uh, on the other hand, um, the passage potentially of the roads and bridges on Thursday would not impact your passage of your recon whatsoever. Number three, the the reporting, the consistency of these Democratic senators and House members to a thousand members of this viewer is still there. That's really great news. The consistency is we are adding it. And the reason why we may have been confused on late Sunday, Monday, when we thought what was in the House subcommittee was a final bill, it ain't a bill. It is a markup of a bill. And Pelosi has made that clear. The president has made that clear. And now that is why the staffers have been using that sort of future tense with us as well. You need to advocate with AOC, Jalapal, and Omar. They absolutely have your back across the board. You can be part of the social media campaign. I sort of put out a tweet this morning saying vote against the infrastructure. I don't think the vote infrastructure should pass first. I'm not worried if it does pass. I just don't think it should pass. Um, so you'll see that tweet at LA.com, uh, uh, at Jimmy, uh, that tweet at Twitter forward slash LA. And then 
it's important to understand that the situation is changing by the hour. For now, passed. A $3.5 trillion reconciliation budget markup of a bill passed on a Saturday night. Includes those three clusters of checks for you. Checks for hazard pay to seniors to $51,000 of MSC. Checks for sing single people. Checks for workers. Checks for adults. Checks for children. Checks for the home. Checks for also college students. Lots and lots of checks. Democrats from both the House and Senate still telling viewers this channel they are inserting an IRS MSC's check when they get it. The process is not finished. You like that. That's good for you. They're still inserting stuff in there. Pelosi and the president being emphatic that people need to step forward and say what they want. Guess what? You need to say what you want as well. And I look forward to you. Please continue to advocate. And with that, I see you. I'll look forward to seeing you next on Mornings Crypto starting at 10 o'clock. I'll be going over why Wall Street's down 400 points today. I'll be going over why the Federal Reserve's concern about inflation is very real. I'll be going over how this impacts stimulus, how this impacts your money as well. It's a big recording and it's not just crypto, it's coming up right after this video. Then I'm back with you at 11 a.m. with noontime. We're gonna have a lot of changes throughout the day, so stay with me. It is a very, very fluid and changing situation by the hour. Then join me at one o'clock for afternoons, three o'clock at afternoons, and then a new show tonight and evenings, LA. Lots of new shows coming out throughout the day. So with that, subscribe. A 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record. The most in-depth, comprehensive coverage you're gonna find online about these subject matters. Stay informed, stay focused, like the video, and consider becoming a member. The link's under the video. The toast was toasting, the butter is buttering. I'm here, you're here, and join me next as Morning's Crypto Summit.